Hello, in this demonstration, I will show you how you can install VMware EXXI hypervisor. The VMware EXXI hypervisor is a type 1 hypervisor so that it can be installed onto any computer or a server without the need for having a operating system. Hence allowing you to install it on devices such as bare metal systems and run your virtual machines. Before you install VMware EXXI hypervisor, you should download the ISO file. To download the ISO file, go to VMware website, which is the VMware.com. And on the top corner, you will see the option called Login and select Customer Connect. On the Customer Connect login page, if you do not have a VMware Customer Connect account, select the option called sign up now and that will allow you to create a vmware customer connect account this account is free and once you create that account you can go back to the customer connect login page and log into your account so i have already created an account so i'm going to log in using that account and once you logged in on the main page, you should see an option called trial and free products. If you do not see that option in the center, uh, you should be able to move around by clicking uh, on these arrows and you should have that option trials and free products. Click on trial and free products. On that page, the top portion here will have a bunch of softwares that are for trial that you can use it for a few days to few months uh, for testing purposes you can also purchase these licenses here as well but if you go to the very bottom of the page you will see a option called download free products under download free products you will have an item called VMware vSphere Hypervisor 64-bit. This is the EXXI module. This is where you can download your EXXI ISO file. The vSphere is another term used by the VMware to market the EXXI hypervisor. Click on it and it should get you to the license and download page and you will see your license uh, showing up here uh, i will you know you will have your license key and this is my license key up here and then on the bottom of the page a uh, little bit down of the uh, on that page you will see the option called vmware vSphere exxi iso image and you can click manually download and it will start downloading your uh, ISO file and this ISO file then can be used to install VMware EXXI hypervisor on your computer So now you have downloaded the EXXI hypervisor ISO image. You can verify the information and the downloaded data is correct based on the checksum. This will make sure that you do not have a corrupted ISO image or some kind of an incomplete ISO image, which will result in errors during the installation process. In addition, if you go to the bottom of the page, you will see a link called hardware compatibility list and if you open the hardware compatibility list uh, you will see that there are a bunch of uh, options to select and you can select the product and the type of systems uh, or the type of programs or hardware that you have based on that you can check if your uh, device is compatible with uh, the exxi uh, installation that you are about to do if your hardware is not compatible with current exxi or the any other exxi iso file that you have there may be ways to 
install it by changing some settings I will not talk go or talk about that in this video but I will go into depth about that in a different video uh, but for now I assume that you have a hardware uh, that is able to handle EXXI uh, 7.0 because we have a ISO image you have to either burn this into a bootable CD or create a bootable USB in 2022 most likely you guys will be using a bootable USB so I would use a program like Rufus and create a bootable USB drive using that ISO image but if for this particular demonstration I will not be using a bootable uh, USB key instead I'll be installing the EXXI on VMware workstation for demonstration purpose because this is really funny I'm using VMware workstation which is a type 2 hypervisor to install EXXI which is a type 1 hypervisor but this is just for demonstration purposes in a real world environment you will probably never do that instead you'll be burning the ISO image to a CD or uh, writing it to a bootable USB and then loading it from there but for now I'm just gonna use the VMware workstation and I'm going to create a new virtual machine I'm going to go custom and I'm going to select the EXXI hypervisor image I'm going to go next and I'm going to select where it's going to be installed and I'm going to keep everything as it is for now I'm going to increase the RAM to just 8 gigabyte because I just because I have enough memory I'm going to use NAT and I'm going to keep everything default and then I'm going to say finish now this will result in the installation screen it looks like this it will give you this uh, installation medium Once the installation environment has been loaded, it will greet you with this screen. Please keep in mind that it might take a couple of minutes uh, to load to this welcome screen. I just speed up the video so that you don't have to wait for it to load. And then press enter. And read the end user agreement. Uh, remember VMware uh, ESXi is a proprietary software so there is a certain limitation or agreements between the end user and the VMware company so make sure you read them as always so I'm gonna go F11 so I just found the hard drive that I have here so I'm gonna press enter I only have one hard drive but if you have multiple hard drives you can select the hard drive which you will be installing and I'm going to use the US keyboard so I'm going to go enter and this is going to be your root password so make sure whatever the password you pick that you remember because once the installation is complete this is the password you will be using to access your EXXI from the web GUI as well as this interface so I'm going to pick a password and press enter and I'm going to select F11 to install Once the installation is complete, you will be greeted with this screen saying the installation has been completed. And what you need to do is to remove the installation media and then go ahead and reboot.
once the reboot has been completed you will be greeted with this screen and you will see an IP address that you can be used to access your web GUI for EXXI server you can change these IP addresses and settings by going into the customization options down here so if you go F2 and your login username will be root and the password would be the password that you created during installation process and you'll be able to configure your EXXI server I will not go into detail on how to configure some of these options in this particular video because I will make a separate video on that but right now you have a completely working EXXI server to access your EXXI web GUI you can use the management IP address in my situation it is 192.168.26.8 again you can change these settings from customization options and I will show you that in a different video for now to access your web GUI open a web browser I would recommend using either a Google Chrome or Firefox for accessing it and then we're going to enter this IP address so it's going to be 192.168.26.8 and you will land on the VMware EXXI login page your username going to be root and your password going to be whatever the password that you have created during the installation process and you'll be greeted with the main screen of EXXI server and the last thing we're going to do is to enter that EXXI license key that we have obtained so that we have the full functionalities and use of this particular EXXI server to do that on the left hand side click on manage and then click on the option called licensing and then click on assign license and enter your license key here and then check license and that will add the license key to your VMware EXXI program and it will allow you to have additional features which otherwise may be disabled after the trial period this license key is 100% free for home use as well as for educational use in future videos and on my other videos I will explain some of the options and how you can install a virtual machine and how you can delete them from EXXI server. For now, that's everything for today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and please subscribe and thumbs up this video to support my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a nice day.